I originally met Teresa about four or five years ago at a rosary night. We did some prayer and got her details somehow. And she was very hard to, to get to know. She, she wouldn't reply to my messages. So I got sick of it. I was like, this is too much effort. <laughs> Three years later, I was looking for a Catholic guy's house and I decided to move in. They said, hey, meet the girls next door. And I looked around, I saw Teresa, I was like, whoa. I know you from like three years ago. But there are some qualities all of us bridesmaids really admire about our beautiful bride, Tez. We admire her inspiring faith. Uh, one instance of that was going over to New York for mission for a whole year, giving up a year's worth of pay, a year's worth of fun to, to serve others. It's just the sort of person that she is. I remember I, I asked Nathan in one of the parties we threw at home and said, who is she? Is, is there somebody? Quick silence and, and then he said, oh, I think I do know somebody. So he said, oh, show me a picture. Show me the profile picture of Teresa on Facebook. And I said, OK, so how do you see it? He said, complicated but possible. <laughs> But yeah, so since, since he started with Teresa, he's been happy, he's been confident, he's been at peace. And that is the, the main thing that I think, Teresa, you're giving him, you're putting his life, is that beauty of feeling comfortable. Of course, he had to propose, so <laughs> that was a big worry. She told me we could date for a year, and I had to go the way. I want to, actually, that's reminds me of one most person I want to shout out to who's not here is my grandmother. It's one day, I don't know where it came from out of the blue, she said, Nathan, what's going on with your, your romantic life? And I was like, excuse me, Nana? And she said, what are you doing? I was like, wow, okay, Nana's, uh, Nana's putting some pressure on there. So I remember getting off that phone call and talking to Teresa and saying, I just had the strangest conversation with my grandmother. And then I went on a retreat and I, I started thinking, what am I doing? She's the most beautiful, wonderful, kind, devout person I know. And we, we're best friends and we love each other. What, what am I scared of? But we got there eventually. Now, together, we're here now, tonight. In marriage, now that you've found each other, now that you know that what fathers wrote today, you are one. So, and that's why there is nothing to worry about. And that's why whatever comes later, kids, no kids, struggles, home, whatever you want to throw in your bucket, is gonna be easy. And as long as you bother holding that bucket, it's gonna be easy to carry. It's not because of my courage, not because of Teresa's uh, love of me or love of each other, I, I don't think. I think it's because because God wanted us to be together and He helped us get here. And despite the floods, despite the fear, we're still here. And with all you wonderful people who we really appreciate, Teresa, you're my best friend. You have changed my life in ways that I, I'm only beginning to understand. You have been loyal, you have been fun, you have been helped me with my disorganization, my lateness, you've helped me make action and I think in a way change from a boy to a man through you. You are the love of my life and I hope to serve you for the rest of my life and I ask you all to raise a toast to my beautiful wife. <laughs>